Hey, this is Drayford Smith here with Sino Sports. We're here with Anthony McNeely, just seeing what he's about, seeing what he's doing, and seeing how he's influencing the community. What's up, everybody? This is Anthony McNeely of Overtime Athletics, right here in the city of Las Vegas. I'm the head coach of the Nevada Pharaohs. Fun fact about me, I've done nine years coaching high school basketball in Centennial High School. Shout out to Compton, California, and we clocked in. Let's go. We want to highlight what is overtime athletics. It's a clean, clean sweater, but I need to know what it is. Okay. First of all, thank you. Appreciate it. Um, overtime athletics is wanting more. Even when you're drained, you may think you're drained, tired, exhausted, just pushed to your limit. That's it. That's all you got. I know you got more. What's holding you back? What what is that? What is what is making you hold back from what your gift truly is? Okay. Would you give me how do you believe you've truly given everything to what you're doing right now? If you did, great. But I know there's more. Even when you think you're done, you're not done. There's still more to do. And what what kind to, of athlete, you know, what kind of athlete are is overtime athletics looking for? Sacrifice, man. Dedication. Willing to learn more. Willing to want to do more. How far are you willing to go off camera, off the floor, in your personal life, you know, to, to get to you, to get to that brass ring, to get to that championship, to get to that contract? How much sleep are you willing to lose to get it? How much time are you willing to put in to get it? Who are you willing to cut off to get it? What did Nip say? Circle too small, not everybody can't go. What are you willing to do mentally, physically, spiritually, emotionally to get what you want? And what inspired you to start Overtime Athletics? Honestly, it's a cliche. Uh, countless nights in the gym. Um, I wasn't playing basketball at the time. Um, I was kind of in that in between situation that I wanted to be around the game, but I was bored and I was like, I need something to do. So as uh, when I was 18, I started coaching high school basketball. And when I agreed to it, I was like, okay, yeah, I got it. I'm excited. I go home. I think the Lakers was playing Memphis that night. Go home, get my homework and everything done. I'm watching the game and it hit me. Uh, what did I really commit myself to, right? And then it, it, my mind immediately shifted from being a spectator, right? Watching the highlight play to how did that play manifest? How did that work? What did they do to get that ending result? Um, working out, um, getting in shape, being the first one in the weight room, the last one to leave. I'm small, I lost weight a couple times, but it's the work ethic, the passion, the desire, the motivation, the, the internal spirit telling you more, 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 more. What coaches of the past or present influence your coaching style and philosophy? Now, do you want me to, can I, can I do names or? Yeah, drop name, do the name drop, man. It's up to you, brother. Um, George Barthwell, uh, Jamal Barthwell, Vadim Malikin. Um, Coach Rod Palmer, um, biggest thing in my philosophy and teaching in terms of basketball is just, the biggest thing about basketball and sport is the biggest teacher of life. What you learn on the floor and what you implement on the floor, you can easily incorporate into life. Always remember sport is 10% mental, 90% physical. So my biggest thing is just trying to implement core values in terms of hard work, determination, the willing to work. How far are you willing to go to succeed and get to that pedestal, to get to that point where you want to get to? Okay, great, great. And how do you motivate your players? And um, as a follow-up to that, how do you get so many personalities to get on the same page each week? Well, that's the fun part. Um, challenges, personal challenges for everybody. Everybody wants to win. Everybody wants to go overseas. Everybody wants a contract. Everybody wants this and that. Which is, which is fine, but what are you doing personally to help you get to that point? What are you doing today that made you better than yesterday? Are you stagnant? Are you motivated? What, what, is, what, is, keeping you, what is keeping you holding back? 
you know, so personal challenges, whether if it's personal life, personal challenges, whether if it's on the floor, um, you can coach players differently. You can't coach everybody the same way. I may have to be a little bit more aggressive than one player, and I might have to pat another player on the back and continue to praise that person to keep that person going. That's the beauty of this job. That's the beauty of the game. Okay. And uh, <clears throat> what what do you teach your players <clears throat> besides basketball? In, in terms of what? Just in terms of life, knowing, because, you know, the game always ends. Okay. You know, time is the greatest adversary, and sometimes you have to hang up your cleats, hang up your shoes, and really begin life, you know, out there. So how do you, what do you do to prepare uh, the individuals, your players, to, to you know, be beyond the court? Well, the biggest thing with that is, it's funny you mentioned time, you know, so, in this life, you never lose in this life. You run out of time. And the biggest thing with that is you have to make the best out of your time wisely. Using what we have on the floor in terms of the, the same core values that I mentioned before, determination, your focus, where your energy levels are, where you, how do you dial in certain situations, and how are you gonna be able to implement that and put that into your everyday life. For a father, let's say a father of one, such as myself, I put certain things into my son the same way I would want to put into my team. I treat everyone the same level of love and respect that I do my own kid. What I mean by that is in terms of I care for all of you as if you were an extension of my family. Right. Okay. And uh, <clears throat> how do you improve teamwork while dealing with different personalities of each player? Because you know you have some of those guys where, you know, they, they got the big ego to go with the skills. And then you got some of the other guys that are, are more quiet. And, and you have to, how do you deal with all those personalities? Well, that is a really, really good question. Um, I pair guys with, it's, I hate to say it, I pair guys with guys that really don't really get along like that. Or really have glaring disagreements and you put and I put them in situations where they can be successful I put them in situations where you have to use that person to be successful and to build camaraderie build teamwork bonding off the court again you can only play basketball for so long right but you're developing and establishing a rapport you're establishing a relationship you're establishing a bond you know I putting yourself in a situation where I need to know you got my back Right. When the chips are down and things like that and things don't go our way, can I trust you to have my back? Can I trust you to go to war with me? And that's, it's a, it's, it's a really tricky way to do it. It's kind of a, 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 kind of a scary way to put it, but it's what's worked thus far. Okay. And uh, <clears throat> switching to off the court, okay. um, with the basketball team and also with your own endeavors, uh, how do you promote community support? Uh, overall, you know, how do you, what do you do in the community to just uh, bring it together? Uh, for me personally, it's, I relate everything into my daily life in terms of what I do um, outside of coaching. I'm a father. I take my son everywhere I go. You know, we, we talk, have conversations and things like that, but I, it's also an extension of myself. I bring everyone into myself and into my realm and into my life to whereas I'm not just this glaring person. I'm a person, I'm, I'm personable. I'm authentic. What you see is what you get. Hmm. Um, my biggest thing for me is how I bring it all together is because the fact that everyone has something that we're in common with. Whether you like it, whether you don't like it, it's a commonality. So if you're able to be around people or galvanate people that has that same commonality, has maybe different beliefs or has the same goal in mind, that's the biggest thing out of everything. And sometimes it's done on the basketball court. Sometimes it's done with a generic conversation. You have to be as personable and as open as possible. Okay. And uh, how do you plan and implement on uh, improving as a coach, father, and also an entrepreneur? Make mistakes. That's the, only, that's the best way to really put it in my opinion um i don't have all of the answers but that's the beauty of life that's the beauty of this game in this game of life if you will um being able to be receptive to change 
being able to adapt, being able to evolve, evolution, right? Um, being able to listen to those and take notes of those who've come before me, um, being able to take that and spin it and create my own vision, implement my own philosophies, implement my own lifestyles, and more importantly, just have fun with what I do. If you don't have fun with what you do, then what's the point of doing it? Right. All right, brother. You, you, you lasted this long with me. Okay. You lasted this long, so we're gonna, we gonna do we're gonna do a pop quiz here. All oh, right. You, you're in the hot seat right now. You're in the hot seat. Let's get it. Oh boy. All right. So I'm gonna go through these questions. Give me the first thing that comes to mind. You ready? I have no choice. All right. <laughs> All right. So first question: Did you like the N1 league? Yes, I did. Okay. And if uh, who was your favorite player out of the M1 League? Hot Sauce. Hot Sauce. Okay, okay. All right. Next question. Can you do the moves? Can you do it? My ankles is bad now, man. <laughs> <laughs> uh, second question. What's your favorite thing to do um, as a coach after a good win? After a good win? Yeah, after a good win. Bro, put on some Mob Deep, man. All right, all right. All right, what's your favorite NBA team? Lakers. Laker, the the Lakers, the Los no, Angeles Lakers. Lakers oh, you know, I got I got I got to mess with the Laker fans. I got to mess with Come the Lakers, man. All right, here's a good one. Okay, who would you rather have on your team? Oh boy, Shaq or AD? AD. Why? AD is versatile. AD can bring the defense out. AD can give you one or two things. He can give you a dribble off the move. He can pack back, put his back to the basket. AD can stretch your defense out, hit that short corner, hit that three at the top of the key or in the corner. You really have, Ana, you really don't have a five. You really have a stretch, whatever, honestly. All right. And then who's the better dunker? Nate Robinson, <laughs> other than the knockout, <laughs> <laughs> or Aaron Gordon? Ooh, I gave you a stumper right there. Aaron Gordon. Aaron Gordon? A Aaron Gordon. Aaron Gordon is is athletic. Ath athletic isn't even the word, but we're going to use that. Shout athletic. out to U of A. <laughs> Shout out to U of A. Shout out to them Wildcats, man. But, uh, oh, my God. Very scary athletic. Scary athleticism, man. What have you? Did you see those two dunk contests? Yep. Which, by the way, he should have won. But at least one of them. But yeah. still, that's neither here nor there. Hey, but Nate has those hops, so that's the only reason why I... I oh, man, sh shout out to the 510 Under Club, man. <laughs> shout out to that club, man. All right, man, here's something off topic. Uh, what's your favorite Marvel movie? Ooh. I'm not going to say Black Panther, because that's bias. Spider-Man Far From Home. Okay, all right. Favorite thing about fatherhood? Just having kids, man. Um, just being around them, watching them grow. The, watching them have their own personality All just right. being there and last pop quiz question favorite thing to do to relax sleep <laughs> I don't get much of it so that's right now that is the favorite thing to <laughs> do about to say, what was to sleep, bro? Hey, bro, we've been up for three days when Diddy said, Diddy said when, you, when you are an entrepreneur and a hustler you rarely get sleep. What is sleep, man? You know, that, you that, get that naps. Don't you don't sleep, you get naps. I can sleep all, look, look, when there's a job to do, I can sleep all I want when I die, because that's all I'm going to exactly, do is sleep. Exactly, exactly. It's a good mindset. So, here's the last question, brother. Okay. We know your time is valuable, because that's the greatest thing in the world you can't get back. Oh, come on, man. Uh, as a final question, I want you to look into the camera, and I basically want you, you know, if you were talking to your younger self, or just a kid, you know, on the streets needing some inspiration, what would you say to them to inspire them? A young man from Compton, a young girl from Compton. Right. Wow. Talk to us, man. Do I, does, it, does it have to be one or can I make it two? No, you, you can, can make, make it two. as many as you yeah. need to be. Okay. Look, so me look, 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 at, look at me. Brother. I want you to look at me, brother. Okay. okay. Uh, mm. Number one, never say never because limits like fears are often just an illusion. Quoted by Michael Jordan at his Hall of Fame ceremony. The second one is, to give anything less than your best is to sacrifice a gift. I believe that came from Steve Profontaine from the University of Oregon, running track. All right, man. One more question for you. 
Okay. All right. Hit me. What is it? How has basketball inspired and in, in you as a player, as a coach, as a father, to the outside of the court, as well as to your your own players? Um. Uh, honestly, an opportunity, second chance. Um, those are things that don't really come around often, or they may come around, but you don't know how to take it by the horns or grasp it for what it is and use it for what it is, right? Um, that's the biggest thing for me. Um, coaching the X's and O's and everything, the creativity, the imagination, the willingness to win, the sacrifices and everything, all of those are great things, right? But if you don't have the opportunity to at least prove your worth, to prove your value, it's no point. It, it's, it's, it, it becomes meaningless. Then it goes by the wayside. Um, my biggest thing for coaching, training, is again, is opportunity. Um, giving the kid, giving the player that didn't have the chance or didn't have the opportunity or may have got hurt and missed his opportunity or had the opportunity and had his child and had to let it go and to be able to work for that opportunity again and grasp on that opportunity again is will be the biggest accomplishment for me my ultimate excuse me my ultimate goal is to win big right but who doesn't but the biggest accomplishment for myself as a coach as a man a father player just being involved in this game of basketball in this game of life is to be able to watch another man grow, another young lady grow and blossom and take these opportunities of growth and development in this sport and implement it in this, into their daily life as parents, influencers, intra entrepreneurs, ownership, things like that. X's and O's that comes and go, but what you take from it on the sidebar will last with you forever. And that's my biggest accomplishment. You can check me out at hoopinant underscore 22. H-O-O-P-I-N-A-N-T underscore 22. You can also catch me at Overtime Athletics 92. And you can also catch me and the squad, Nevada Pharaohs, at Nevada Pharaohs as well. P-H-A-R-A-O-H-S. Go Pharaohs. See no sports. And we clocked in. Let's go home. Yo, so again, this is uh, Mr. McNeely out here in Las Vegas, again with Overtime Athletics, as well as Nevada Pharaohs out here in Las Vegas, Nevada, and uh, we do thank you for your time, and again, we never clock out, we only clock in out here in Sino Sports, thank you.